All right, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the landing pages template <clears throat> that is included in the template package on the crash course that's demoed in the crash course video on the startup takeoff. So go ahead and open up landing pages 1.1, and you'll see it has um, the input cells and an example um, that's already filled in for you. And for this example, we're um, targeting a made campaign, so we would put a unique ID. We would write a generic ad. It's not really too important how good it is. Just make it basic. Um, and then we're going to put in 10 keywords that kind of sum up the niche or the industry that we're targeting. So in this case, for house cleaning services, we've put in a variety of keywords. And then we're going to put in a variety of destination URLs. And what this program is going to do is it's going to test each destination URL against each of these 10 keywords. And Google is going to estimate a quality score, a first page bid, and a top page bid based on um, the relevance of your landing page. Because our ad is the same in each case, the only variable we're testing is a different landing page. And in some cases, we'll have a wide disparity in CPCs and quality scores that, by Google's estimate. So we're going to show you how to get the cheapest clicks, the lowest costs, and the best landing page in the eyes of Google. So to find those um, destination URLs, open up Firefox, and with your proxy on for the United States, or if you're inside the United States, you're not going to need one, and then go ahead and put on the iPhone simulator as well. So you simulate a phone, seen as we are doing um, paper call marketing, and then search house cleaning USA and when we search for um, this keyword USA <clears throat> we're interested in the organic search results simply clean USA.com penny aver USA.com and home clean USA.com and we're going to copy the top 10 that seem logical into our tool and that's we're gonna put them right here once we've done that, and we have collected 10 that we're going to test, we're going to go into the control V. And it says step one, step two. So right here, we're going to highlight all our keywords. We're going to hit control C. We're going to open our AdWords editor. And we're going to upload those keywords. And it's already um, got the headlines figured out for you. Finish. It's going to create the campaign. Now, of course, we need our ads as well. And we copy paste those, which is generated by this template. Copy those into the editor. Device preference, not important. Click finish. Now we're going to want to make sure our ad group bid is one cent because we don't want any clicks. If these ads get approved, you don't want to lose any money. And um, we're going to have the settings as if it was an actual campaign we were going to run. Make sure it's in the United States, people searching in. And we're just going to go ahead and post that campaign up to Google. And you can see here that that campaign has been uploaded to Google. Here it is. And we can open it up. And I've actually cut this, the footage of this video. When you first upload your campaign, Google will not give you an estimated top page bid and its quality score will not be accurate. You need to wait approximately two to eight hours for Google to crawl your keywords and landing pages and give you an estimated top page bid and quality score. But you'll know it's completed when you have estimated top page bids for all of your keywords. So you're in the campaign, go to keywords, and you should have estimated top page bids before you move on to the next step. And the next step is downloading the keyword data, copying it back into this tool, into the third tab here. And then right over here, we're going to visually see which of these landing pages gets the cheapest clicks and the highest quality score as averaged against those 10 keywords that we plugged in. So to do this, we go into our AdWords account, 
and when it's finished crawling the data, we want to download our keyword report. So go to the keywords tab, click this little button right here, and it's going to generate an Excel file. Click download. And I would like to have made it easier, but different people will have their AdWords accounts set up differently, so you need to trim off the top and trim off the bottom. And then we need to make our columns line up. So this is generated by Google, and this is this is our our our, um, our Excel sheet, and we have five columns: keyword, ad group, first page, top page, and quality score. And we need to make sure these line up. Currently, the messy spreadsheet that Google has provided us is not going to copy paste neatly in, so we need to clean it up. So let's delete that. Uh, delete all of this and delete this. We also, very, very important, do not miss this, you need to sort it by ad group, smallest to largest, because the way this program calculates the averages is um, it needs to be sorted one through 10. So now you can see the sheet that Google has provided us is the same as these five columns here. So now we can just control A, control C, and we're going to copy it in. Now, keep a look, take a look here. This is old data. Paste in our results. And here's the new data. And you can see domain seven is a clear winner with an average quality score of 7.4 and first page clicks as low as $1. So this is gonna be really important um, when you're trying to get your cheap cost per click. Um, one more caveat to that, to this, take the top winner, go into Keyword Spy, and just pop it in and see if they're running any advertising on that domain already. And you can see they um, are not running any ads which is good, so it means we can use this domain cle cleanly and not run into any problems such as double serving, which is against um, Google's terms of service domain. But that's the tutorial on using the landing page tool. Um, it's quick, it's easy, and it will uh, lower your costs. And if you use it in combination with the other tools, such as the GeoGenerator, uh, you'll be able to get some uh, good results. So this is Clayton, and I'm out.